What's going on YouTube? This is Ken M. Rocks One. Paul here. I want to come at you with a video that uh, explains a little bit about my Gladiator. I've posted a few shorts. Posted several videos just off and on. Don't have a whole lot of time for YouTube, but got several trucks as you can see and got a pretty sweet indoor course. And I uh, have several tent scale and uh, even couple fifth scale rigs that I tend to uh, play and bash with, but this is my favorite little rig right here at the time, the brand new SCX24 Gladiator. I uh, want to go over how I achieved the 60-40 weight bias because I think Big Sung Hobbies did a video of how out of the box it's more of a 40 60 and you can see here that i've got a pretty good split 51 49 right to left and a 61 39 front to rear and this truck is still brushed i love these electronics that came with this rig i think axial done a killer job ever how they upgraded the electronics the transmitter suite gives you an indicator there if your battery is getting low in the truck and uh, the slow crawl is pretty daggone amazing but I had a LCG 3D printed battery tray laying around that allowed me to put the battery up front. This is a larger battery that I have for my fly skies for the tent scales. Um, the stock batteries work great in here. Did a little Velcro for uh, holding them into place. And that allowed me to move the ESC to the rear. Out of the box, I did a hot race no 050 motor hot racing heat sink. This thing has never seen any hot temps like the stock motors do, the little 88 turns. Um, did some metal gears in the transmission just for durability, and that's pretty much it. Um, nobody's really talked about this battery tray, but it is, it is rather sweet how it tucks in between the frame rails. I have played around with that with some of my other trucks, kind of chopping them down and getting them to tuck in and uh, keeping a low profile. I think I've got this uh, C10, pretty chopped up battery tray, kind of tucked in, but it's got, it's got a carbon rail set. But um, I like that. I like it lowers it down a few millimeters. And then that puts the ESC here if you want to do this mod to where it clears, clears the body. You know, when everything closes down, you've still got plenty of clearance. You don't have any binding or anything like that. Uh, pulled the Overland package off. Got the hot racing oil field shocks. Didn't really want to go with a whole lot of crazy travel on this truck. Um, it's more of a trail style 24 slash crawler. Couldn't be more amazed with how good it does crawl. The wheelbase, I think, really helps it out. I did a EcoPower 827 up front. Pulled the decals off, but these are amazing little servos. They're high voltage, and you can, um, I think this is one of them here. Yep, the EcoPower 827. You can take the servo, you can direct power it. I've got a little jumper wiring set up here. I got some Amazon uh, connectors that match up with the factory ESC. Run it into a jumper, come into a female, Got everything kind of direct powered. I think Gaming RC has got a video on that, but basically what you do is you run your ground and your signal wire to your ESC. You tap into your ground wire off your ESC and still tie it into the battery port. And then you take your hot out of the ESC and you just bypass it and take the hot directly off the battery and, and let it run to your servo. Um, and that really provides for good response and, and very, very quick servo response. I mean, for a $15, $20 servo, it's pretty amazing for what it does. And then the weight distribution really makes this thing crawl like a beast. Got some Goodyear Wranglers. I did take some wheel weights up front, nothing crazy. I think maybe 14 grams wrapped around the inner ring. Got the Crawler Innovations foams. Full crawler innovation foam in the back, no weights. Got the weight distribution the way I need it. And uh, for a trail style truck and, and something with a longer wheelbase, I'm absolutely thrilled with how good it crawls. 
got some 3d printed sliders that worked out really well just kind of had to uh, you know rearrange the the placement of the, the mounting holes um, did the wideners pull Amazon brass knuckles there and, and some wideners but you got the width up and a um, little weight up front and this thing very pleased with it it crawls like a beast um, for for the the size and the width I couldn't be happier with how it performs it's a pretty cool feature too with the lights you know a lot of times the lights will blind you when you're crawling You guys have to bear with me. This is not my forte here. I work so much. I have uh, very little time to devote for some of my hobbies, especially documenting what I'm reaching on and what I'm doing, but it's definitely a passion I have. If you guys enjoy this video, have any questions about how I've got this thing to perform the way that it does, Please feel free to message me in the comments and I'll try to respond and get back to you as quickly as possible. I mean, this thing is absolutely sweet. The oil field shocks really do perform well. You, you don't get the flex that some of the guys love with the um hot racing you know telescoping shocks but just to demonstrate the eco power for for less than a 20 dollar survey that thing is a monster especially direct powered off of 2s could not be happier with it i mean it's it's just amazing but that's it for today like i said this is something new to me if you enjoy what you see, please let me know. I will try to find time to make more time to uh, make some videos on all of my RC adventures. Absolutely love the hobby. And could uh, love to share my knowledge and, and information that I have gathered throughout this journey here so you guys have a good one and we'll end it on that a flip